So today I'm going to take you through how to make an organizational unit, a group, computers, how to add users and computers to groups. Yeah, and that should do it hopefully. Maybe something extra if I feel like it. So first we're going to start with an organizational unit. You're going to go, what is an organizational unit? Well basically, it's one of these folders here. These are all organizational units because you put things in them basically to organize so everything's not just splattered out through here. So let's go, we're going to make a new organizational unit called um, people. Protect container from accidental deletion? Yes. Okay. So here we go, see? A new organizational unit. Now we've got this, there's nothing in there, see like the users folder thing has heaps of stuff in it. People doesn't. So let's create a group inside of this people. And where go okay. group the group name let's call it finance so it's about, oh, I don't know and we're going to make it a global security group okay so here's the security group finance now what's the point of having a group finance you can't put anything in it but we can add users to it so let's make a user as well in here we'll go new user we'll call him finance user and user logon is f dot user at test dot com there we go we'll go next user doesn't have to change password password never expires we'll put in a password for them Next, finish. So now we've got a finance user. So what we're going to do with this finance user, see they automatically remember of domain users, but we're going to add him to finance. So you just go. F you can either go like this: finance, check names, finance. You can also. scan everything so it starts with F and our find now and it's just found finance but say you want a domain so you, like domain admins or domain anything you'd go DO find now it gives you all of these groups with the word domain in it we're going to add him to finance finance check names and there we go and we'll go OK so there we go, now he's added to finance. Now apply this. Okay. Now if we go finance and check members, finance users a member of him. What's finance a member of? Nothing. We're going to add him to. Let's go. We're going to make all of the finance users domain admins. No, this is a lot simpler than doing it per user. Because someday down the track, you might not fi want finance to be a domain admin. But at the minute, we do. So we're going to add domain admins to that. So apply. Now if we look in users and look under domain admins and look at members, see, finance is there. But it doesn't say finance user. Because finance user is a member of finance. So we can't see this through here but anyone of the group finance is now a domain admin. Okay. So let's create a computer. Now we'll right click on here, new computer. I'll call this computer, I don't know, Windows. Now, if this was a pre 2000 computer, 
we'd do that, which hopefully you don't have pre-Windows 2000 computers out there, but if you do, you would tick that. Okay. As simple as that, that's how you add a computer. And then we can go properties, see, name, member of, blah, blah, blah. Later on I'll show you how to add this when you actually add a computer to a domain or install one. It's good for actually installing computers by WDS. But anyway, we'll get on to that another day. So that's how you create a computer. But when you join a computer to the domain, it'll create itself anyway here. So like my other computer, which is actually powered down at the minute. But I'll resume it for now. Go back to the server. There we go. Get rid of that out of the way. As you can see, I'm on VMware making these. But yeah, and there's also all these built-in ones, which you shouldn't have to worry too much about them. I don't like using them. I like to create my own. But as you see, like if we look at users, properties, members, see so domain users is a user, blah, blah, blah. So all of those other ones, they use this to create their own ones. I think that's it for today. But let's go over a couple of things. Organisational units are administrative containers that collect objects sharing similar requirements for administration. So say, you know, we wanted people in there. Or, you know, you might want, like, computers, and then you might want also servers. You know what I mean? So you might have different things that you want in different containers. Because say you've got 20 servers, you don't want to be looking at them when you're looking at your computers. Because it just clutters up space. But yeah. Alright, that's it for today. See you next time.